Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will try to solve some questions from GATE 2018. Okay, and uh, especially this aptitude part. So, some of the question which I remember uh, that I'll be going to solve. And uh, one more thing that I won't remember. I don't remember all the options. Okay, so I will give. I will be giving you the correct answer only. So, uh, like you won't be getting options here. Okay, because. I don't remember all the four options, so what, whatever I remember, I will tell you the, that thing only. So uh, these two questions which I they here they are written, these both came from like uh, English part. Okay, so the question was that she fell from dash and got many dash but no help. So in this question, uh, like uh, it was they have conf make, tried to confuse you between two words there that that, that was a stairs, s. T A I R S and S T A R E S. Okay, so between these two words, they tried to confuse you. So, and uh, they, you were be ha uh, you were having three different, uh, four different options in which these two words were interchanged or like different spellings were given. So she fell from. So here you have to write stairs. S T A I R S stairs, which means C D in in, in Hindi. Okay, and and got many dash. But no help. So here you have to write a stairs, S T A R E S. Means many people started looking at her, but nobody helped her. Okay, so this was the first answer. Another uh, question was like due to his dash behavior, he was something I don't remember whole question, but but the question was something like uh, due to his bad behavior, some something some word was there. So you were uh, some four options were given that like rational. Good and uh, one more option was that is errant. So the correct option was errant only. So okay, because errant means that not so good. Okay, so this was the correct option. Due to his errant behavior, he was like some fun punish or something was given over. Here. Now the third question, which uh, which I have uh, solved earlier in my like previous video, which I uploaded like in the morning. That question also like it that in that question it was given that uh, yeah, a triangle is there and the area of the triangle is root three and you have to find out the perimeter. Okay, so for this question and the triangle was equilateral triangle. So for equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle the area is given by area is root three upon four side square. Okay, and uh, the uh, value of this was given as root three. So we'll solve this by this only. So side square. Will be root three into four upon root three. So these root three will be cancelled out. Side value we will get as two because you will take under root of four. That will be two only. So the value of side is two and uh, the perimeter is three into side. So it will be three into two. That is six. So the correct option was six. This was multiple choice and the correct option was six. Okay. Now one more question was there that uh, it was given that in the region in the like region zero to two pi uh, and two functions were given sine theta and cos theta. It was asked that in which uh, region these both functions were decreasing functions. Okay, so this question also I have like solved in the previous video, but again I am going to tell you that. If you know the graph of sine function, it is like this. Okay, so this is sine function. This is zero. This is pi. This is two pi. And this maxima you will get at pi by two, and this value you will get at three pi by two. Okay. For cos function, it starts from here and it goes like this. Okay, so it's some something like this. Okay, so this is this is the cos function and this is the sine function. So the region in which both the functions are decreasing is this function is this region okay pi by 2 to pi so this function is also coming down and this function is also coming down so the correct answer was pi by 2 to pi okay so this was the correct option for this question now again the next question was okay so another question it was given that a car is moving from a city to another city and uh, with uniform velocity and uh, let us consider both cities as a and b so a car goes from a to b with this constant velocity of 60 km per hour and returns from b to a at velocity of 90 km per hour okay so you have to find out the average velocity of or average speed of car so what most of the people have done they have just like uh, added these two and divided by two and they have got like answer 75 km per hour but that is the wrong answer okay so how you have to solve this question is like 
consider the distance between a and b as x okay so distance is x okay so while going from a to b the speed is 60 km per hour so the time will be as you know that speed is equals to distance upon time so time will be distance upon speed okay so the time t1 i am writing it here as t1 is equals to distance is x and speed is 60 so t1 is x upon 60 and uh, while returning back again the time the time will be x upon 90 because the at that time speed is 90 okay so the total time is equals to t1 plus t2 and it will be like x upon 60 plus x upon 90 so when you will solve these things you will get 180 as lcm it, is, it will be 3x plus 2x this will be 5x upon 180 okay so this is the value of total time and uh, like total distance you have traveled as 2x total time you have taken 5x upon 180 2x is like you have gone, gone from a to b and again from b to a so the total distance is 2x so the speed will be distance upon time so it will be 2x upon 5x upon 180 okay so this x will be cancelled out so speed will be 2 into 180 upon 5 so if you will solve this this will come 36 36 2 j is 72 so the answer is 72 kilometer per hour okay so 72 was the correct option not 75 okay so another question was like it was asked like it was given that uh, you are having four parallel lines okay and they are intersecting five parallel lines and it was asked that how many parallelograms will be formed when four parallel lines intersect five parallel lines so what you have to do in this question see uh, like when this step of question comes it, it has to be solved with that permutation and combination so for four parallel lines they will contribute to two lines of a parallelogram because if you are having like four lines here and five lines here okay so these four lines will contribute to two part of a parallelogram consider this parallelogram only okay here so this will contribute to two line and these five will contribute to two lines so the total number of parallelogram which you will get will be 4c2 because these four lines are contributing to two lines and 5c2 because these five lines are also contributing to two lines so 4c2 into 5c2 this will come out to be 4 factorial upon 2 factorial and 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial into 5 factorial upon 2 factorial into 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial okay so let's solve it it will be 4 into 3 into 2 factorial upon 2 factorial into 2 factorial okay into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial upon 2 factorial into 3 factorial so this 3 factorial and this 2 factorial will be cancelled out 2 factorial is 2 in only so you can write it as 4 into 3 upon 2 into 5 into 4 upon 2 so 2 2 is equals to 4 so these 3 get cancelled out so 5 3 into 5 if into 4 is equals to 60 so the correct option correct answer was 60 this was also i think uh, uh, multiple choice only okay so this was answer was 60 now another question came like like it was asked that you are given a sphere of radius 7 centimeter okay and a cylinder cylinder was given no, whose radius was 7 and i don't remember the height okay so height i don't remember and uh, cube was given cube the side of cube was around i think eight okay and uh, a cuboid was given cuboid i don't remember exact figures of the length breadth and height so huh, so we, what you have to arrange you have to arrange all these three all these four in order of their uh, decreasing uh, volumes so what formula you have to put that i am going to tell for cuboid you have to put l into b into h length into breadth into height for cube you have to put like side cube okay side cube you will get the volume for cylinder the formula is pi r square h this will give you the volume of a cylinder and for a sphere it is like 4 by 3 pi r cube so by putting the values which were given in the question i don't remember the values but as soon as the question will be published on uh, that uh, gate website i will solve it completely so 
when you put these values you will get the well, uh, the, the uh, volumes okay and then you can arrange it easily but i remember the answer the answer was like a sphere was the largest one then the cylinder then comes the cube and the least one the cube was cuboid okay so this was the correct answer for this question then uh, one more question was there that it was like x square plus x minus 1 is equals to 0 it was given and you you have to find out the value of x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 4 okay so to solve this question i will tell you that how how to solve this question correctly okay so see what you have to do what is given over here you just have to rearrange that only so x square plus x is equals to 1 okay now you have to take common from here so x is common so it will be x plus 1 is equals to 1 so x plus 1 you can take this x this side it will become 1 upon x okay now square both sides so no not squaring you can like rearrange once again so it will be x minus 1 upon x is equals to minus 1 so this we have done so that we can get something like some figure like this okay now we have we have to square both sides so squaring both sides what you will get when you will square the here and there you will get a square means x square plus 1 upon x square minus 2 into x into 1 by x okay here we have uh, put the like uh, identity a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab this said you will get minus 1 square is 1 okay so it will be x square plus 1 by x square minus this x will be cancelled out and this minus 2 will go that side and it will become 1 plus 2 so x square plus 1 by x square is 3 now again what you have to do you have to just square it once again so you will get x square plus 1 by x square whole square is equals to 3 square so here you will get x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4 plus 2 into x square into 1 by x square is equals to 9 okay so this x square and this x square will be cancelled out this plus 2 will be uh, will go that side and it will subtract from 9 so you will get x to the power 4 plus 1 upon x to the power 4 is equals to 7 so this was the correct option so by now i think i have solved like eight questions the rest two were uh, like one question was there like crow and crackers okay so that question was graphical question and uh, i don't i can't draw the graph over here and i don't remember exactly the four options so i won't be able to tell that okay that crow and cracker but I, i'll i'll solve that question as soon as the question will be uploaded okay and one more question was there that in in that you have you have given like very large quantities were given like six thousand six lakh thirty thousand students were giving exam and uh, at least two of them they have to pass out something like that it was given so <clears throat> for that question also i i don't remember the values these these large number so i can't solve it right now so that's it for this video okay hope you like it and please like and subscribe the channel thank you